you guys and welcome to the channel. If you're new, don't be. They had a Malcolm staring at the window while he gripped the shotty, thinking I'm probably in the same face. Yeah. Much. Ta 
Tasha K really knows about Alicia Keys. What I can say is, you said yourself, Tasha K, that Alicia contacted you and asked you to do this interview. Not her mother, not her husband. She did. That's because she's been feeding you information. It's been bad. Just like I know two thirds of the questions you asked me weren't your questions. I saw how uncomfortable you were asking them. But see, you had to ask them because you don't want to lose your celebrity troll because that's what's fueling your platform. And I get it. I know how important your platform is. And not just for your career, but for your family. Which is why I was like, however it go down, we are right now. But when you start talking about discrediting, I want you to think about who Alicia Keys works for. She works for Clive Davis. The very man I'm going after. So now let's look at it, re let, let's, let's just be reasonable here. Let's just be reasonably intelligent. A celebrity calls a blogger that the blogger doesn't want to do but the blogger does the interview anyway because the celebrity asked her to so if the celebrity asked her to nine times out of ten she probably gave her half the question she asked me let me tell you this Alicia Keys stop being such a punk ass bitch and ask me yourself I'm the easiest person in the world to find my email address is my name jaguarwright at gmail.com or better yet, Clive Davis, if you have questions that you want to ask, you don't have to stick your hand up Alicia Keys' ass and move her mouth for her. You can just do it yourself, bitch. Now that email threatening me and threatening my life and blood and all of this, no, it didn't come from your personal email address. But you made sure whoever sent it, sent it with your name on it. And I guess you thought it was going to scare me and my husband. We don't scare easy. And if you want to scare somebody, it's best to do it in person. Do it yourself. Do it yourself. Stop using Alicia to send disinformation out to this world against other people that you're trying to manipulate and control that you can't get TMZ to do for you. Cause see, I know TMZ don't do everything for you, Clive. I know they don't do everything for Puff either. I know they do a lot for y'all, which is why I refuse to fucking interview with them. And I'll never interview with TMZ because I know y'all motherfuckers got their ass on the take. But see, what you can't get them to do, you tried to backdoor, and then you use a black woman who's a mother who works fired for herself, for her family. You use her to try to come after me. And now she got the pitchforks on her. Now nobody told her to go along with it. So that part is on her. But she had no idea that they've been using her. That's the game. See how that worked? Clive called a bitch whose career he saved that could nobody save up until he spent $20 million to buy her five fucking Grammys and to sit there and try to discredit India Irie. That little fucking goofy ass fucking pimple face bitch will do any fucking thing, Clive Davis says. Fuck will she do without him? How the fuck couldn't Jermaine Dupree break your career if you was the shit? He was known for breaking the shit. You was on that so-so deaf Christmas with your whack ass fucking shit playing little drummer boy on the piano. He had You had the same album them bitch and he couldn't fucking break it. Alicia, Clive Davis spent $20 million to make you look like anything but the sow you are. You want to come at me? Come at me directly, yo. Stop using other black women to do your bidding for you. And by the way, if you're a black woman, stop letting a fucking old white motherfucker who wants to be you use you to hurt your own people. Tasha K trusted you, Alicia Keys, and you did nothing but lie to her. I'm not saying that Tasha's not responsible for going through with the interview. Because she is. But she was just doing her job. 
she thought she had good intel by someone that she probably regarded a qualified source. She ain't know that that bitch was a goofy ass bitch. Just like um Ty living them didn't know that Moni Love was a goofy ass bitch. Y'all gonna place the blame, place it everywhere it belongs. Just look at the chain of evidence. Tasha K connected to Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys directly connected to Clive Davis. And ain't nobody been able to break me since 1994. <laughs> Are y'all finally starting to understand how fucking intelligent I actually am? Anybody who's foolish enough to think that I went into that interview not fully prepared. How long did I spend on media training you before we did the interview, honey? 15 minutes. And fucking handled up. That was my husband's first real interview. I media trained him for 15 minutes. I should get paid for this shit. I should. I should get paid for teaching these motherfuckers who spend ten and fifteen thousand dollars a month paying it to these idiots that can't fucking think they way around me. And I'm just an artist. And that's why I've come to tear it all down. So that's really all I got to say about that. I'm not saying Natasha K isn't responsible. I'm saying, how do y'all know she ain't get duped too? She probably thought that bitch was really a fucking friend for a hot second. Just like I used to think Jill Scott was my fucking friend. You saw how that turned out. Set up queens, man. Set up queens. Shout out to um, another set of queens. Ava DuVernay from Surviving R. Kelly in the Me Too movie. Ava DuVernay, I am inviting you to join us this evening at 6.30 p.m. Central Time in the Dalladelphia Zoom Room to attend the WCW meeting. We have some questions we would like to ask you. trying to figure some things out and I think you owe a lot of people a lot of answers as to um, how you missed all of those gaping holes in your investigation against uh, R. Kelly and, and how it didn't lead to all of the very people that I am now investigating myself you'd have made all this fucking money on surviving R. Kelly like he was the only pedophile and fucking pervert in hip hop. Who paid you to only focus on R. Kelly? You ain't gotta tell me that. But I wanna know why you missed it. I think we all deserve an answer. Like y'all spent fucking months talking to all of these survivors who, by the way, did you help them get any um, help? After you use them for their stories and put it up on Netflix, make fucking money off of it, collect the fucking awards for it. Did you use any of that fucking money to like create like some kind of scholarship fund for these women to be able to have therapy regularly for the stories that they relived so you could get paid, Ava? I, I, I'm hoping that you'll come to the meeting tonight. Cause we don't want to argue with you Ava We just want to know how a woman as smart as you missed Every fucking thing You even missed the R. Kelly investigation And you documented investigating R. Kelly How the fuck did you miss your own fucking investigation Like he only recorded in one fucking music studio in the United States he was only a pedophile in Chicago and, and, and just a few times in Miami. You're too smart a girl to have missed that. 
and you made such a name for yourself. Who paid you to miss everybody else? Hashtag Me Too Miss Two 2020. Will we see you tonight? Able to the night? I hope we do. And you know, to keep it simple, why won't it go back? Because I want to put on my song. I just want to close out with my song. I love any song that say Jesus. Especially this one. Try Jesus. Not me Cause I throw hands Try Jesus Please don't try me Because I fell Lips and Lashes by Shea Cosmetics is way more than its namesake from primers, mascaras, eyeshadows, foundations, lippies, lashes, and so much more. For that fierce look you can't find anywhere else, Lips and Lashes by Shea Cosmetics. Tell them Whitney from Reviews Whitney D sent you. Shazaz Creations is a virtual boutique for creative customized apparel, tumblers, and jewelry. Allow them to create a keepsake that you can use as a heirloom for centuries to come. Everything from blankets to pillows, allow your memories to come alive with every picture. Tell them Whitney D from Whitney D TV sent you. Use the Whitney D code or link in the description box below. Bye. I am happy to say that I am a brand ambassador of Noel. Noel is handcrafted, no harsh chemicals, scrubs, oils, soaps, and more. Quality skincare at affordable prices. Check them out and let them know that Whitney D of Whitney D TV sent you by using either my code Whitney30 at checkout or the link in the description box below. Welcome to Embrace Pangea. These products are all created to bring you back to balance through nature's gifts. They have a wide range of products that deal with various aspects of daily life, such as deodorants, juices, clothing, vagina detoxes, and body scrubs. Whichever product that you decide to embrace, you can rest assured that it was created with love for the betterment of self. Embrace your Pangea. Visit the link in the description box below and let them know that Whitney D of Whitney D TV sent you. Bye. So yeah, so check out the uh, site embracepangea.com and uh, em embrace your Pangea. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for tuning into the show. Now it's your turn. We want to hear from you. But remember, keep it cute or get the boo. Let's talk in the comments down below. Check out all our sponsors and affiliates in the description box. And, and don't forget to join the Witness Nation by clicking the subscribe button. Thank you. Until next time, this is Whitney D with Whitney D TV. Signing off.